If you've ever had the wind knocked out of your sails or just the rug pulled out from under you in life, you know how hard it can be to move forward. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to be successful, continue to be successful, live life, walk through your journey, even when your life seems to be falling apart around you. My name is Heather Quizzle. I help women in relationship-driven businesses to get the confidence, the focus, and the mindset game to level up their business and level up their life. And my friend, just seven months ago, life was completely pulled out from under me and changed completely from anything I've ever known. My husband of 17 years, best friend of 25, died suddenly. And here we are, right? We are all going to be thrust in some way at some time and most often multiple times throughout our life with life completely smacking us in the face. And yet if you're like me and you're running a business, you're running multiple businesses, you're running a home, you're running a life, um, you have priorities. What do you do when when life just two by fours you to the head, right? And that's what I want to share with you today because this was one of the most important things for me when 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 I was thrust into this space of being a widow. My life completely changed. Everything I ever knew obliterated. What do we do now? And I'm going to give you three strategies that really helped me. And I know that they're going to help you too, whether you're going through divorce, a complete job overhaul, empty nest, you name it. What I've learned in my own grief journey that everybody has their own version of grief and nobody's is more important than others. Your pain is your pain. Your struggle is your struggle. And to you, it is the most difficult thing you've ever been through. And so just remember that we don't we don't compare. We don't compare and make somebody's better. But what do we do? How do we maintain some level of success when life throws massive curveballs at you, right? The first the first thing I want you to remember is that when life throws a curveball, you know, when your husband dies suddenly, um, when you you go through a massive divorce, when emptiness, wh whatever that thing is for you, right? Um, you have to understand that life is going to be very different from now on. Something I learned really quickly is I can't keep going back to who I was before. Well, I used to always do this way. I need to get back to what I was doing. Well, what I was doing before was in a life that I no longer have anymore. And so when you are in this space of of now what? This is hard. This hurts. I don't know what to do with myself. Understand a lot of what's happening. A lot of the pain is redefining your life, redefining how you live, how you work, how you think, how you behave. And so to continually go back to what you were doing, the diet you were on that was working for you, right? The routine you had in the mornings, right? The way you operated your home, that may not be the same now in this new version of life. And this is going to be okay, but it will take time for you to recalibrate, for this new version of your life to take shape, and for this new version of you. So just remember, this is going to take time. You are in a massive change. Allow life to look differently. Now, the second thing I want you to be thinking about if you are, when you find yourself in a complete life overhaul, is we can continue to look back at what we lost, what was stolen from us, what we got gypped out of, right? And a lot of people will get stuck there. Don't get stuck there. The way out of that is to look forward. And you may not know what your future holds, and it's going to be very different from what you envisioned before, right? But start acting yourself, asking yourself, how do I want to feel in the future? How do I want to feel in the future? You know, one of the very first thoughts that I had when I was told my husband died was, I don't want to die with him. I'm way too young for this to be the end of my life too. I want to be healed. I want to be whole. I want to feel joy and love and laughter again. And so when you can when you can be dead set, you know where you want to go. This hurts right now. This freaking sucks. You didn't ask for this, right? But you've got to create a new future and it's okay that you don't know what it looks like 
but you'll know what you want it to feel like. You'll, you'll know how you want to be operating. So cling to that greatly. And the third strategy that I want to give you today that really is a strategy to help you overcome and maintain a level of success while struggling through a new phase of life is always ask yourself, what is the next step? I can't tell you how many times I've asked myself this question and this got me up off the floor again and again and again. When when my husband died, as you can imagine, um, there was complete devastation and grief and mourning and, and all of those feelings, right? And in, the, in, in a lot of ways, the only thing I could do in a day was mourn and grieve, right? And, and feel this devastation and yet, what needs to be done today? What is the next step today? And it might just be a single phone call, right? Um, to a bill. It might be a single phone call to an attorney. It might be just going to the store. It might be just washing your face, but be okay with that. Like what is the next step when you find yourself just stuck in, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I never was supposed to be in this space in the first place. What's the next step now? and just take it. That question asked repeatedly will keep you in a movement pattern. The movement pattern is action. When we continually devote ourselves and commit to action of any kind, girl, even if it's just washing your face today, when we commit to small actions over time, we stay in that pattern of moving forward, not in this place of being stuck and in the past. And so constantly ask yourself, what is the next step today? My friend, I hope that these three strategies help serve you in whatever kind of challenge, situation, pain, heartache that life might throw at you. Once you stay focused on how you want to feel in the future, understand that you are redefining a new life and continually ask yourself, what's the next step? You will continually walk that path towards success, wholeness, love, life, all the things that I want for you too. If you loved this video, please share this with somebody, particularly somebody that you know who may be going through a challenging time. I hope that this serves them. If you're watching on YouTube, ring that little bell at the bottom. You will get notified every time a new video is uploaded. Thank you for holding the space with me, being here with me today, and I'll see you soon. Mwah.